hello and welcome to another video. I am Rematar and this is Crowd Friday. First one is from Voltaire. People how can let you believe absurdities can you let commit atrocities? This is oddly true. People who are followed blindly, people of authority, people like politicians, people like church leaders or other religious entities can easily be convinced to commit atrocities. You only have to look in history. When it comes to Hitler, for example, when Nazi Germany, and also if we look to Stalin and the Red Army of Russia and American, um, or better said, USA, worshipping of Donald Trump and his connections to the beef industry, which um, is actually cow flesh, and which uh, is destroying the rainforest. Yes, indeed, cattle ranching is destroying the rainforest. And Bush, so Nairo, the president of uh, Brazil, is a um, short short time solution bullshit artist and that's the reason why I call him bullshit Naro because he is a um, crony of the cattle industry by the way hashtag bullshit Naro <laughs> or bullshit Naro he's also narrow <laughs> Right wing extremist narcissistic prick. Don't feel offensive if you are not a narcissistic prick and you are vegan and you are on the right wing party, but I think you can better be silent in this situation. Because when I say right wing, I don't mean you, I mean the other 99% of the cronies of the cattle ranching industry, so if you are vegan, I don't care if you are right wing or left wing, whatever. I only care that you are don't cause unnecessary harm to other animals. And I think that I also respect it if you are not a blind follower, and that you are not blinded by uh, your own patriarchy, okay? that you are or not can see the evil things your presidents do. And by the way, if you call yourself a conservative and you are not trying to conserve the future of your children, if you have children or the future of other animals on the planet or the half of the earth, why the hell call yourself a conservative? What are you trying to conserve? Your own greedy agenda of um, your own Packet. So, Amigo, stop calling yourself a conservative if you are not trying to conserve the world for the next generations. Then you should call to yourself and degenerate. And if this is hard to controversial to you, now then. I think you should stop uh, be calling yourself a conservative and maybe you should call yourself a, a degenerate and um, also check your privilege. Most conservatives are rich people. Rich people are often don't have a clue about the working conditions of the poorer class because there are often born also in rich societies. 
The only thing most conservatives try to conserve is their own privileged aesthetics. So please, become a true good conservative instead of a greedy selfish conservative. Try to conserve the earth and its habits instead that you try to uh, conserve old uh, outdated habits and traditions. What uh, is your business when people of uh, same sexual orientation are falling in love? No. That's not your business. Let that people be them. As long as they don't eat animals, I don't have a problem with them. No. I have also not a problem with uh, people who are transgender. As long as they are not trying to be hypocrites. No one of Volteri, then. People must have renounced all forms of natural intelligence to are taught of advanced that animals are but animated machines. It appears to me that such people have never watched with intelligence the character of animals, not watched them on their differences, forms of affections, of love, of anger. It appears to me that it is very strange that they are expressed so well what they don't can feel. Volterra, trillions on towers. If you want to check it out, where that quote come from. And now it is indeed very true because we now know, at least since. 2012, that animals are aware that the decree that we are claimed to be. At least since that time, we have actually no excuse anymore. Animals are sentient and aware. They are half the neurological, biological, and um, you mean lust go and and all uh, other ways that are can have consequences. There are not things. There are living beings. That mindless robotic mindsets that so many of us have, of our species have. The species I'm embarrassed to belong to. That animals just animatic machines like Rene the Fool, or must I say Rene the Guard. Hold when he was cutting open the bodies of terrified screaming animals. Nay, the fool, the sadist. He's not a philosopher. He's a pseudo philosopher. And the father of Western madness. So, most people are not shocked about that fact, I think, because they already know that our dogs and cats are somebody and not something. When anybody, how of spent one time with dogs or cats, know that there are not so extreme much different than their children or their fellows or their ladies. Dogs can be loyal, most of the time they are loyal, a bit like house niggas. I have sneakers who are also loyal. Sorry if that is offensive to you, but Malcolm X used that in that sentence when he was talking about the difference between house niggers and field niggers, so I think I can also use that in this context. 
please tell me. By the way, if you're going to make a complaint about it, please go to another video and don't waste my time and your own time. I'm not racist. I am misanthropic. Which means that I have just as much condemnation for my own race as this for your race. I don't care about whites more than I care about blacks or I care about Asians. All groups have sick mockers, blacks. Hmm. One good one of Schopenhauer. This is quite frankly a very good word because it says it like it be. Compassion to animals is often considered to be a sign of goodness of character. And so you can read sincerity implies that somebody who is cruel to animals cannot be a good man. Which is very nice, true. Because according to statics, 99% of all the serial killers, rapists and such people are starting off by executing the weak, defenseless animals. And like when in known in real, when some say, like I say in an older part of the series, that the victim is nothing to defend on. Nothing more than the next victim. The victims are interchangeable. It is not more moral to kill chickens, pigs or cows or cats or dogs or even members of your own species. I've, to me, the consumption of other living beings specifically when it is not necessary to survive is just as despicable and abhorrent as cannibalism. This state point is often challenged and dismissed by selfish individuals who believe their own species is so much more important, but if you ask them to explain why, they are not capable of explaining it. And they're going to taking the logical fallacy route. For example, the appeal to intelligence fallacy, which actually basically implies that you can kill anybody who is less intelligent than you. And scientists have the right to kidnap you and turn you into um, object. Scientists can also then go to a laboratory um, sensors and take all mental retards um, in their room and then do experiments on them because some scientists have an IQ of 200 and that makes them absolutely superior according to the appeal to intelligence fallacy and I have given them the absolute right to explore the most after anybody on the planet. So please, uh, people, let the scientists alone how much to do experiments on people because they are so much smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Which now, to be serious, that's actually what you're supporting when you say that animals are st stupid and therefore you can exploit them. <laughs> so... Well, that you don't like the way they look. White supremacists can use it when they say that they don't like the way black people look, therefore they are exploiting them. Or... By the way, appeal to intelligence can also work in another hilarious way, like I've explained in this video. Um, it can also work in the way that um, Chinese people or other Asian people have the right to exploit most of all Western people. Because 
Actually, Asian people have in general higher IQs than people with a WAS. <laughs> what do you think about that white supremacist? 